Well, hello. It is um, September 24th, 2022. I am en route to Van Meter, Iowa to attend the Van Meter, Iowa monster visitor or visitor. They call him the visitor, I think. But, I mean, he is a monster of sorts. Or she. Um, the sex of the creature was never determined to my knowledge. Anyways, I'm at the, uh, I'm in Adair, Iowa, stopping for gas at the Casey's General Store. And I've already been met with some real deal temptation because their pizza selection is quite good. All right, well, I uh, just arrived in Van Meter and I am at the visitor center parking lot and I genuinely have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, there's a walking tour that starts in 15 minutes, but I could totally be in the wrong spot and I really hope not because to me, the walking tour is like the biggest thing. I've already made, uh, I've already made a huge error. I was at the wrong place to start the walking tour there it is, obviously. So I'm catching it five minutes late. I feel like a real heel. And being a Midwest native, being late feels terrible. So I'm having anxiety about this all day. I'm sure everyone already hates me. Uh, Until he goes into the back of the building, in the muddy path back there, the town discovers giant three-toed tracks in the mud, like some prehistoric monster. They took a plaster cast of at least one of these prints, but we don't know what happened to it if it ever existed. We were hoping it's in someone's attic or basement, but as of today, we have not found it. Uh, Sidney Gregg, who was sleeping across the street, he goes over to his window, looks outside, and the creature is descending the telephone pole using its beak for balance like a parrot might. It gets down here onto Main Street and starts hopping around like a kangaroo using its giant wings for balance. And they heard the train, and it started running, standing upright, almost nine feet tall. It spread its wings out and started flying off toward the outskirts of town by the old abandoned coal mine. This is at the point when the town thinks the monster is using the mine for its lair. The good news, or maybe the bad news, depending on your macabre sense of adventure, is that's where we're heading next. <laughs> so it's a few blocks walk down here. If you have questions, let me know. But also keep in mind that in 1903, the town also claimed there was a sea serpent in the Raccoon River. <laughs> I just learned that there was a sea serpent in Raccoon River. That is a new wrinkle to the whole story. Did you know there was a sea serpent in Raccoon River? a quick observation and that is um a lot of people are really vaping people are just vaping the brains out here um but their hearts gonna be being so fast by the time they get to this mine this new technology is going to be released we're going to come forward with right now he is talking about the uh flying airship wave of the late 1800s early 1900s um you know i love the flying airship wave it's close to my heart since omaha had one of the larger mass settings i believe it's either three hundred or six hundred people. I know that's the variance is pretty big on that. But um, in downtown Omaha, Nebraska, it was reported in the Omaha Herald. It, it was in the World Herald, and it was called the Omaha Bee. But uh, the Omaha Historical Society has a write-up about it, and these things were seen all over the Midwest: Illinois, Iowa, Nebraska, Kansas. You name it, they were seeing airships way back in the day, predating the flying saucer. The phenomenon's always changing. What will appear as next? Well, that was really great. Uh, on the walk back, I didn't want to put a camera in his face. Um, I probably should have. But I got to talk to Chad for a while. And we uh, got to ask more pointed questions about the uh, Raccoon River Sea Serpent. And apparently it was definitely serpent-like. It wasn't the plesiosaurus, Nessie champ type of, uh, you know, body of water monster. It was definitely serpentine-like. So, you know, when people always say sea serpents and stuff like that, but they were describing dragons or a plesiosaur-looking thing, it's like, eh, is it really a serpent? Okay, here I am at the American Legion, right uh, outside of the uh, vendor vendor uh, area. And uh, I'm going to go in and I'm just going to keep rolling. You know, really do this gorilla style. There's a little loud jam here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, that was really crowded in there. And, uh, 
<laughs> it started freaking me out. So I'm gonna let that line die down a little bit, okay? And um, so no, I'm gonna check out the outdoor vending. Ooh, here's the food. It's all right, it's a heavy meat menu. And I mean heavy, it's like uh, meaty mac and cheese or meaty nachos. They got a kid's menu with hot dog, pulled pork, pulled, I mean, it, 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 it's heavy meat. Um, that's not the light fare I was hoping for. Oh my gosh, these two people are wonderful. Um, what's the names again? My name is Morgan Evans. Cody, Cody Evans. I met them this morning and I was here just admiring this absolutely gorgeous breathtaking art. Thank you. And I am going to now purchase something at least. Uh, at the very least, I'm gonna put the camera down and make my purchase and I'll be right back with you. Oh guys, <laughs> oh, look what I got. That's the Van Meter Monster and that's, God dang these shadows. That is the Frogman of Loveland. They could have charged me $10,000 for both these pieces. Instead, I paid $25 a piece. Incredibly reasonable. They're basically giving it away. Okay, I'm in the vendor room. Uh, just kind of get my bearings. Some uh, Ren Faire esque looking jewelry. Very nice, very nice. Some kind of like graphic novel things. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Seeing some Mothman stuff. He, 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 he crosses over really with any kind of vendor floor I think it's probably loud you can't hear anything I'm saying anyways I'm just gonna give a little PC around this is just good fun this is good clean clean uh, wholesome fun I'm, I'm I'm cutting okay people are really looking at me I think they're getting I think they're getting hit to me uh, filming things some dirty looks American ghost walks very cool. What a wonderful day. This is really great. I wish I could stay for the other lectures, but I can't because I have prior commitments back in Omaha. But what a wonderful day. I got to see some old friends. Got to see Chad Lewis and finally meet him in person. I got to see Steve Ward, who was so kind to take me on a tour of Point Pleasant, just not just three weeks ago. And, oh God, I wish this is what I could do every day with my life. My heart sings. I'm going to drive back to Omaha. I got about a hour 45 minute drive ahead of me and uh i'm just gonna be smiling the whole way this is great as soon as i get home i'm, just, I'm gonna text uh my wife and say hey babe you know would you mind putting some uh beers in the freezer 20 minutes before i arrive because i like those beers ice cold and then i'll sit there and regale her with all the stories of my day while she falls asleep anyway this is steve berg in van meter iowa having the time of his life thank you for joining me. So great.